Day 2 for Army Recognition Editorial Team at BDEC, the Baron International Defense Exhibition and Conference. Today we will focus to the live demonstration. There is three different types of demonstration. The first one is the small arms manufacturers demonstration, including assault rifles and pistols. The second one is the live demonstration of combat armored vehicles. And the third one is the parachute demo. We are very happy to be in Bahrain. We have lots of activities in Bahrain. Uh, most of the forces in Bahrain use autocar vehicles, uh, mainly Bahrain National Guard, uh, Bahrain Defense Forces, and Minister of Interior uses different types of autocar vehicles. And we are very happy to serve all Bahraini forces. And we are uh, happy with the successful performance of our vehicles. Here in Bahrain, in Baidek Show, we display three of our vehicles, which are already in service in different forces in Bahrain. Ural vehicle is a light armored vehicle with 4x4 capability. It is built on chassis and on top there is a monocoque hull on top of the chassis. It is a paramilitary type of vehicle where uh, more than five countries are now using Ural in paramilitary roles. Here uh, it has a automatic gearbox diesel engine and open cupola type of configuration with a six people at the back. Cobra is now in service in more than 16 countries worldwide in different forces and Bahrain is one of them. Uh, Cobra also showed a good performance in Gulf climate, both in urban terrain, urban build-up terrain, in cross country, in soft soil. So Cobra is one of uh, the famous uh, vehicles that Autocar produces and we are very proud that Bahrain forces use Cobra. In Bahrain we have amphibious and non-amphibious versions of Cobra. Both are at uh, performing uh, very successfully uh, in this terrain and country. Arma uh, is a uh, 6x6 and 8x8 platform which uh, Autocar produces for different missions. Uh, here in Bahrain, uh, we have uh, armored infantry uh, fighting vehicle, command post, and similar variants, which are also uh, performing successfully uh, with different turret configurations. Here you see an open cupola with 0.50. Uh, we have different variants, 20, 25 mil uh, turreted ones, or remotely controlled weapon station ones, which are dedicated for the special missions. Uh, today we brought the Colt M4 A1 carbine. Uh, many thanks to the Bahrain Defense Forces for allowing us to borrow these carbines and uh, that are in their stock right now and they're currently in operation. Uh, the Colt M4 A1 carbine is a heavy barrel, heavy barrel variant that is currently being used by the U.S. Uh, DoD. Uh, right here is the Colt M4 A1 carbine, 14.5 uh, inch barrel, a heavy barrel variant, so it's not your standard pencil barrel. Uh, it's made for military and law enforcement use. You have your uh, standard AR-15 or M4A1 lower receiver, ambidextrous, uh, lower uh, selector switches, four position sliding buttstock, standard carrying handle that you can remove to place uh, an added optic onto there, Trijicon, Eotech, Aimpoint. 
Uh, an additional feature here is we've added a barcode to all the lower receivers. That barcode there, if scanned, will come up with a serial number of that carbine. Uh, it allows, what we've seen, it allows the end users um, the ability to track how many times that weapon's been utilized, how many rounds have been shot to uh, better maintain their, and the, uh, their inventories. Uh, the heavy barrel is an increased barrel life. Uh, about mid-2000 or late 2000s, the U.S. DOD said uh, we'd like to uh, increase uh, barrel life, accuracy, and uh, sustainability. And so what Colt ended up doing was reverting all the M4 carbines to M4A1 carbine heavy barrel. And we've made it standard across the board at DOD International Wide. Uh, I'm Theo Vicha, the International Sales Manager for Caracal International. Uh, we've had the CAR 816 in two different barrel lengths, being 10.5 inch as well as 14.5 inch on the Bidic uh, National Guard rifle range. The main features of the rifle, particularly being an AR platform, which is generated and designed, manufactured in the UAE, of which the, this specific rifle as well, as well as fielded by the Royal Guard at the moment, in Bahrain. This is manufactured in three different barrel lengths, 10.5, 14.5 as well as 16 inch. This is a chrome lined barrel which is also turned in the factory. Gas piston system which has three uh, settings, it being standard, adverse and suppressed conditions. Then we also have battle sights which is flip up in case your, your um, main sight uh, is no longer functional. We've got the quad rail system which you, uh, you can adapt to any accessories, it being flashlights or uh, lasers, anything such as that. Obviously this is the upper receiver together with the lower receiver, a 30 round Stanek magazine, which is standard for, for our weapons, our different selector, which is obviously safety, semi-automatic, full automatic. Uh, back here we've got the charging handle, which obviously charges the, the weapon and inserts one round into the chamber. And lastly we've got, which is a telescopic uh, buttstock, with this right here is uh, the, the tube, the, the actual tube for, for the cycling. Further from the CAR 816 uh, we just uh, uh, actually evaluated, we also have uh, at the BDF range we've got the Caracal Enhanced Def. The Enhanced F is, um, has been a, a branch out of Caracal for about the last 10 years, uh, having four very good attributes. First of all, a very low slow, uh, slide profile, which reduces felt recoil. Secondly, the mathematical bore axis, which is the center of the bore, is four mm, millimeters lower than our competitors, which gives you instinctive accuracy. Thirdly, the reset of the trigger, it's only eight millimeters, so it actually helps you with having good, accurate follow-up shots. And lastly, we've got an 18-round magazine plus one in the chamber. All compromises together of a very good uh, operating system. All the wep weapons we've discussed today is available at the National Guard as a live fire version. It also is the 816, the CAR 816, as well as the pistol. Um, guests are more than welcome to come and join us at, at the National uh, uh, Guard shooting range. We have re representatives there who can easily take you through the, all, the, all of these weapons. Firing range we have uh, introduced as a Beretta company, so Beretta Defense Technologies, uh, the handgun called the 92A1 and the assault rifle called the ARX 160. About the handgun, this is the model that we presented on the shooting range. This pistol, which weighs approximately 900 grams uh, unloaded, is going to feature a, a magazine with 17 round uh, um, uh, in 9mm by 19 plus one in the chamber. It has been equipped with a special locking and tilting block 
inside, an open slide design which is characteristic for every Beretta pistol, external hammer that can be decocked by simply acting on the manual safety which is ambidextrous so you can operate with both thumb left or right. You have many other safeties because this is one of the safest, safest pistol in the, the, the world because you have the bolt open lever, the cocking lever and the automatic firing pin safety which is located nearby the firing pin. So if a round is in the chamber and the pistol falls, it does not fire until unless you completely pull the trigger. So the characteristic compared, the differences compared to the M9 is about the locking latch which is uh, automatically returning to the closed position and as well uh, um, firing, uh, let's say, a spring guide which is uh, one piece unique with uh, the recoil spring guide that before were separated and were under, under tension inside. For the rest, it's going to keep the same characteristic of the M9, we just changed the design of the trigger guard, now it's rounded. It's mounting also a flashlight and a laser device from our Steiner E-Optic sister company called SBOLPL. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.